training camp is close. It begins on July 26th, nine days away. We're so happy to be joined by the former Bears coach Dave Wanstatt on Sports Sunday. It's good to see you, Wani. Well, it's great to be here, Layla. I'll tell you what, it's uh, it is. God, you scared me. A week away, two weeks away. Nine days. It's here. Yeah, that's oh. that's disturbing. So let's get it started. I know the Bears coach don't want to call it a rebuild, but with decades of experience. What is your opinion of what you're seeing this team do direction-wise? Well, none of the general managers or coaches like to call it a rebuild. They like to say we're reloading would be the phrase. And mainly because they don't want their veteran players to think that this is a year that's, that's going to be maybe not as productive and there's going to be a lot of mistakes because of the young players. But they are rebuilding, let's be real. When you look at the youth on this football team, you know, we know about the youth on offense, but now – and it – they did the right thing. I mean, Ryan Poles, I, I, I truly believe what he did, you know, by making changes with some of the older veteran guys, the Hicks and Trevathans, uh, Mac. I mean, if he would have kept those players, mm -hmm. what happens is now your offense all of a sudden starts maturing and they're hitting on all cylinders. You got a new system, new coach, and now these defensive players, between age, contracts, and injuries, you've got to replace them and your offense is here and your defense is, is catching up. Now I think everybody's on the same playing field going forward. I like it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at the direction. Now, speaking yep. of offense, you have a strong connection to the Bears offense through your time at Pitt. Can you tell us about that? And then also, how you see that offense taking shape on the field? Yeah, Luke Getze and Andrew Janoco, the quarterback coach, he was a quarterback for me. Luke worked for me. And David Walker, the running back coach, worked for me. So I, I know these guys pretty well. All excellent coaches, obviously, or Matt would have never hired any of them. But I think this is going to be a, a real good telling year for Justin Fields. And I think we got to be honest with ourselves. I, I love everything about him. I think he's going to be a great player. I think he's going to be the future. But I got to see it. You know, let's let's be honest about it. And this is going to be an offense with a with a defensive minded head coach. Uh, they are going to run the football. I think they're going to play it a little closer to the vest. So it's going to be, I use the term quarterback friendly. Mm -hmm. It's going to give Justin Fields a chance to really get in there in his first year in the system and, and, and show his ability and do things that he can do well and he should make progress with it. So, you know, at the end of the year, maybe not even that long, maybe halfway through, we're going to be sitting here talking and we're going to say, wow, hopefully Justin Fields is the future and he'll be the guy to take us to the promised land. I love it. I am so optimistic now and then the Bears are also especially on offense picking up players who might benefit from a change of scenery. Byron Pringle is one example. He's an established veteran. Yep. But then they also trade for Nikhil Harry, who is with the Patriots. What's a reasonable expectation for players like that? Well, both those guys, Layla, that's a good point. They're, they're both very similar. They're big receivers. A lot of people look at them as, as blockers, you know, because of their size, 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 200 pounds. That's, that's, that's you know, opposite of, of Mooney, for example, a right. little quick guy. Uh, I, I think a change of scenery for Harry will be good. It's his last chance. I mean, let's let's be real. He's coming from New England as the Patriots, and everybody says that their system is complicated, that that never went real well. Everybody says that his communication with Bill Belichick was not good. I don't know, except that the one thing I do know, this is his last chance. And if he's going to cut it, you know, he's going to have to come in and do it now. And then you are the defensive guy. Here we did spend all this time on the offense, so let's talk a little defense. What are your impressions of both a defensive head coach and Matt Eberflus, yep. and then also the personnel that they have added, especially through the draft? Well, well Matt comes from a, a tree that I'm very familiar with. I mean, and the biggest change for our, our, our viewers, our listeners, is that they're going to be going from a conventional 3-4, three, three linemen, two outside linebackers, two four defensive linemen. So what they're going to do is they're going to have to to juggle them. It's going to be real interesting to watch this defensive line because some of these guys, you know, they are going to have to move inside and be the two tackles and they're going to have two ends. So there is a change of philosophy coming, which is pretty, pretty significant. And, uh, and Matt does a great job. When you look at his teams at Indy, I mean, they get the turnovers. They don't give up big plays. They're very sound. Uh, I, I think it's going to be good. And they're bringing in these young players, you know, draft picks. We talked about Brisker, you know, they're bringing in 
you know, the young corners that, that really give him a chance to get off on the right foot. So it should be good. I'm, I'm excited. I've been, this is about as excited as I've been in a long time because I, I see the arrow pointing up and uh, there's, there's going to be a lot of energy just the way Matt approaches things. You know, I think he would call this interview a hit by his hits principle. This was definitely not a loaf. Oh, yeah, I got to get educated. I'll be up there watching him in training camp here in the next week or two and uh, I'm going to check that out. This is a hit. Okay. This is not a loaf. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Anytime.